Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. I just want to do a quick video. This is going to be like a few minutes max about a story I did yesterday in Hillsong and talked about my church. And of course, you know, I said something that people went just bananas. They're going to make all my haters are going to make all the videos they can make about it. So I just want to get out ahead so that you guys can hear with my words what actually happened with this meeting at my church. It's actually a pretty big deal. And so let's talk about it real quick. So I said in the Hillsong documentary that we had a meeting at my church. And this is, I was trying to allude to a lot of churches have these types of meetings because they go down. Whenever there's a scandal inside of a church, they will have a meeting because they don't want the staff to talk to the media about these scandals, right? Like any corporation or anything like that, modern churches are like corporations. So um, I don't know if I was not clear. I, mean, I guess not because people were freaking out. I had some comments and then I got obviously, you know, a bunch of people making videos because they just can't, they're just oozing with hatred for me and they just cannot wait to make a video about me. They're like, oh my God, he finally, he's a murderer. We got him. We got him dead to rights. No. That's not how this went down. So the meeting at the church was because the person was already removed from the church, was already reported to the police and all the authorities that needed place. People are talking about me being a mandated reporter and all this kind of stuff. And they're making all these allegations against me. It's absolutely not true. So here's how the story went down. I am a worship pastor. I'm not a youth pastor. This was not my department. I had nothing. I had no idea about this until the meeting. So the meeting comes, comes down. They say, hey, this guy did this thing. We don't, I don't even to this day know what it was. They just said it was inappropriate and it's been dealt with. And they said, rest assured, it's been dealt with. The parents have come in. Everything's kind of, you know, legally been taken care of. Because the churches, if anything, want to make sure that they're legally taken care of just for every reason. So um, so we we trusted our pastor. And we said, okay, sounds good. Looks like you have everything under control. But then he said at the end of the meeting, he said, and if the media comes to you guys, you do not say anything. You come to us with anything that if the media has asks you any questions, because any church, especially a church of my size in any town, if a scandal goes down, it's going to be reported. And to this day, it wasn't reported, likely because it was solved. I, did, I was not aware of an essay and didn't report or anything like that. As far as I'm aware, I don't know what happened after the, it got reported. I'm hoping the guy's in jail or whatever the case may be. I wonder if the parents press charges. And I also wonder if the parents asked the pastors of the church to keep it quiet because a lot of victims don't want their stories out in the world, which I will never do. I'll never put this person's story out. I don't even know the person. And so partly that is the reason the pastor said, hey, look, it's not your business to put this child's story out to the world. And so that's kind of where we were. And it made sense, right? If we we wanted to honor the parents and the victim's wishes to say, you know, you don't just go tell them. You, if you work at a place and something happens, you just don't, you don't go just tell the media. And if the media comes talking to us, we were told to talk to the pastors. They never did talk to me. I just want to get ahead of it because I know that every single person that hates me is going to make a video this long about it and how I'm the worst person on earth. But I want to let you know, guys, that it was taken care of. Um, but I want to let you know that there is not an outstanding essay. It's not something I knew that nobody else knew. Not Nothing like that. I still to this day don't know really what happened except for that one meeting in that room. So I hope that clarifies everything. It probably won't for all of you who really hate me, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that that was clear because I made a community post and I want to make sure everybody sees it because I think you're owed that. So thanks for watching Dad Sean's podcast and I'll see you tomorrow.